Hello and welcome to today's edition of People in the News. My name is Theophilus Ilama. Today we have an array of events to showcase to you for your viewing pleasure. So I'll let you know that you will sit down, relax, get a popcorn, get a drink. We have the best of the best events from all around Nigeria on this program today. Stay tuned. It was a heartfelt celebration honoring the life of Madame Gbadiro Adenike Johnson, a beloved mother and late matriarch of the Johnson family, as her son Bamidele Johnson, one of Nigeria's finest journalists, along with his siblings, bid their final farewell. The occasion also served as a reunion for veterans in Nigeria's media industry who gathered to show support and honor Bamidele in the ancient city of Ibadan to pay respects and stand in solidarity. <laughs> Friends and well-wishers also joined the Johnsons in celebrating Madame Adenike Johnson's well-lived life. Their presence added warmth and support to the celebration of her legacy. So I met KK in secondary school between 1984-89. So I've known Mama since then because we lived in the neighborhood. Mama was very calm, generous, very hardworking, and she was a good mother to her children. All will be well with them and they should be, at least the family ties should still be there before, because Mama really tried to unite all of them together. Because when we are living together in one village in Oku State in those days, Bamidele and I share the same fence. If I had a few, get to my house, the next house will be Bamidele's house. And the mother used to come around from time to time. A very nice woman, humble lady, that if anybody says that those stress of Bamidele, that he got it from the mother, I will say yes. The Johnsons cherish the memory of their mother, whose impact in their life stands unmatched as they recall the moments and memories shared with her, reflecting on the unique bond that she brought into their lives. Uh, the truth of the matter is, uh, for the kind of mother she was, it is really difficult to state one thing that you will miss, because she was a very committed person, made a lot of sacrifices for the children and was ready to do anything to ensure that we were protected. Well, you also know that the basic things like feeding the kids, uh, getting them to behave well and stuff like that were, were part of uh, the, the package. So it is difficult to find the words to actually describe how big our loss is to us. We are still trying to get adjusted to things. I still think uh, occasionally that she isn't gone yet. Well, that was until a few hours ago when I was at the interment and I saw the finality of death. I resigned myself to the fact that she's gone, but it is difficult to put how much I'll miss her into words. I, I, I don't even know where to begin. Ever since she died, I've missed her so much that I cry almost every night if I have to remember her. Where would I begin? Is it from, you know, losing a husband at a very tender age and having to take care of four, four of us, seeing us through school and just being a civil servant with meager salary. But my mother will make sure that we never lacked anything good in life. She will go out of her way. Being a nurse, she also had a side hustle where she did, you know, um, PP, taking care of patients and, you know, having a patent medicine store just to make sure that 
we are able to get all that we deserve in life. When I first um, took in, you know, newly married, and um, I, I told my husband to ask her to come over, and she was so sweet. She would pamper me. If I at a point she was the one cooking the meals, and if I got you know fed up with you know the whole pregnancy stuff, she would tell me that I should not worry to pass. She was my mom. When I recently got, I recently got admitted to the tertiary institution and she was the most happiest person on that day. She was so joyful, like she packed necessities for me months before I resumed. She was really joyful and I will never forget that. To the friends and colleagues of Bamidele Johnson, Madame Gbadiro left a legacy in her son, Bamidele, which is reflected in the way he deals with others with love and compassion. Very good care of uh, all, his, all our children, and you can see the reflection in all the children, including Bamidele and the sister. And you can also see it in uh, Bamidele Johnson's uh, uh, children too. So it's like a generational thing from one generation to the other. So Mama lived a very good life, which she has passed on uh, to the children. And uh, the children is in turn passing it on to the next uh, generation. I didn't really meet his mom, but from what I've heard, about her. Bamdele is just in many ways similar to his mom. Very nice, very kind, very generous. And uh, it is our wish that she will continue to rest in the bosom of our Lord Jesus. You can see how packed the venue has been. Many of us traveled from Lagos and other Nigerian cities to be part of this event. Well, that I mean, you should take heart. Yeah, no matter how old uh, a mother is, nobody wants to lose his uh, mother or his uh, father. And uh, it has happened. I mean, he has to take heart and move forward. And uh, God will be with him, him with uh, every other person, the family, the children. And I mean, he's going to guide and protect them in all of them. As the Johnson household says their final goodbye, to their beloved matriarch. Friends and loved ones believe that the children's dedication to continue our legacy enriches the lives of those around them, fostering a culture of respect and warmth amongst friends and colleagues.